This is a prayer I put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as I pray, and together we will seek our Heavenly Father. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us, and anything we agree upon is touching, you will surely do. Thank you for walking with them through this day. Thank you for watching over them. They are never alone. Thank you for guiding them down the right path every single day. They are in this world and there are people all around them that need help. Father, our hearts go out to those who are walking down the wrong spiritual path. We ask you to please give the person I'm praying for the words to say and the actions to take when they see fellow believers stumbling in spiritual darkness. Please help them to say and do everything within their abilities to snatch other people out of the enemy's grip. Yes, Lord, please help them to see those believers through your love. Please give them the boldness and wise words to speak to them in the moment. Empower them to not turn away but to lovingly express your truth to them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for those you have placed in their life. What a blessing so many of them have been. Right now, together in prayer, we want to graciously thank you. These relationships are precious and appreciated. Lord, we ask you to always bring to the remembrance that it is you who provided these people. You're the one who divinely determined that they are people they should have in their life. Remind the person I'm praying for to always keep this in mind and please help them recognize moments where they can genuinely love and appreciate them. Again, thank you for your guidance every day. Thank you for your blessings every day. You are so good. Hallelujah. We decree and declare that the person I'm praying for is quick to respond like a lifeguard when they see a fellow brother or sister in Christ caught up in trouble during their day. We decree and declare that they act in love and express your love to them. Show them those who need to have the seed of the gospel sown. Show them those who need the seed already sown to be watered. You paid the price for all mankind. Trust them with this amazing opportunity to follow your instructions to share the good news today. In those moments, give them the words to say and the actions to take through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Strengthen the person I'm praying for with boldness to be the powerful witness you know that they can be in Jesus' name. They can take comfort in knowing that as they seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, you will look after every one of their needs, as it says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. We decree and declare that they are a powerful witness for Jesus Christ today. They are even more discerning than ever about chances to share the good news with the people they meet. We decree and declare that as they are led by you, the people are properly chosen because you knew their heart would be receptive. We bind and rebuke the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Your name endures forever. Praise you for all those who can call heaven their home because the person I'm praying for shares the story of Jesus Christ unashamedly. They want to know you more. They long to fellowship with you. Just like Paul said in Philippians chapter 3, verse 10, they want to know you more each and every day. They are seeking you first today. When they seek you diligently, you said they'd find you. Bless them. Protect them. Give them the wisdom they need for what they'll face. Thank you, Father. In your presence is where they long to be. What a day this will be because you are with them. They know you have set them free, and they are thankful that you are using them to set those that are struggling around them free as well. Thank you that your love is shown clearly and genuinely calling others to run into your loving arms again. Praise you that believers are delivered and rescued. Thanks to the person I'm praying for as they step out and do what they can in those spiritually important moments. Every day matters. And every day they are walking closer to you. They recognize the blessings you bring into their life every day more and more. Your daily blessings are appreciated. Thank you for your direction today and your direction tomorrow. Thank you for your protection, peace, provision, and all that you continually provide. 
praise you for providing all that the person I'm praying for needs. They want to know you more. They want a touch from you right this very moment. They know that in their own strength, they cannot do all that you have called them to. They need your very real power in every area of their life. We call forth the same power that raised Christ from the dead that is within them to rise up and flood their spirit, soul, and body. Let that divine power overflow so that they are refreshed and recharged in order to continue in the direction you have set before them in the days ahead. We know that with your miraculous power working within the person I'm praying for, they can do things you have called them to do in Jesus' name. As David said, with you, they can leap over a wall. With you, Lord, they can run through a troop. We decree and declare that you are quickening and empowering their mortal flesh. We decree and declare that they are refreshed from the inside out by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you that they are refreshed enough with your power to fulfill all the duties and responsibilities that are in front of them in Jesus' name. They are strong, not weak. They are alive, not tired. They are refreshed, not drained. Praise you that they are filled with your awesome power right now. The person I'm praying for has the Holy Spirit in them, and there is not one moment in life that they don't have everything that they need with Him in their heart. They have all the supernatural power they need to get to where you are taking them next. They thank you for the wonderful Holy Spirit. Thank you for His powerful gifts that made Jesus come alive to people when they heard the gospel. No one can grasp your greatness. Lord, we ask you to help the person I'm praying for understand their need for spiritual gifts and how they operate in their life, in Jesus' name. We ask together in prayer that there would be a stirring up of a spiritual hunger that genuinely drives them to want to see these gifts operate in the lives of those around them, as well as their own life. They believe that these gifts are for today and that they are important. Right now, the person I'm praying for opens their heart so that they can experience more of your power as these supernatural gifts operate through them. Hallelujah. Release your signs and wonders through their life as they genuinely desire to see people's lives changed for your glory. We decree and declare that they are a vessel for the gifts of the mighty Holy Spirit. We decree and declare that the gifts operate through them as your spirit wills in Jesus' name. Praise you that as the gifts flow, this delivers the living reality of Jesus Christ to people as well as to them. As your spirit manifests, it impacts lives for eternity. Praise be the Lord, our rock. Empower the person I'm praying for with boldness that they will obey what the Holy Spirit prompts them to do and say in Jesus' name. Thank you that since they do obey the leading of the Spirit, your wonder-working power is mightily displayed for all to see. May those powerful spiritual gifts bring people to their knees and open their hearts to allow you to set them free. Father, your word says to go to you whenever we feel like the weight on our shoulders is too much. You have asked us to cast all of our cares on you. Right now, the person I'm praying for is casting everything that weighs on them into your hands. Saturate them now with peace and rest in Jesus' name. We ask you to help them to continue to pursue you with all their heart, soul, and strength in Jesus' name. They want to be on fire, burning hot for knowing you even more. Help them, Lord, to be a powerful source from which your promises flow. May they be a vessel from which your healing and love flows. May they be a fountain from which revitalization, refreshment, and encouragement is distributed to other people. Please help them to never ever allow passivity, mediocrity, and a lukewarm lifestyle to take over in their life. Show them if there's anything in their life that is not part of your plan and purpose for them. Thank you that refreshment and revitalization is flowing through their life right now. Father, we are here praying right now because pressure, stress, fear, and other burdens of life always try to get onto our shoulders. It's so easy for all of us to feel like we can better handle the worries that fill our minds on a daily basis. 
but your word clearly says that walking in fear, anxiousness, and stressing out will never make what we face any better. And when we do give in to fear, we can get worn down and become easy prey for the enemy who walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Now is the time for the person I'm praying for to be on guard. Help them to be watchful, always filtering the things in their life through the direction of the Holy Spirit. If they have allowed themselves to be consumed with any amount of the stress from life, they ask for your forgiveness. As we already mentioned, all their stress and worry are now in your hands. Help them to stand clear from walking in fear from this point onward. We ask for peace to overflow in their life and push out any fear as they focus on you, in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that they are a person you use as a vessel for your goodness to flow into other people's lives. We decree and declare that the people they encounter every day receive a touch from you through them. Healing, love, deliverance, strength, and freedom abound when people spend time with the person I'm praying for. They are constantly serving you with their whole heart, soul, and strength. As a result, they are filled with everything they need, and you can use them to provide the needs of people who they interact with day to day. The person I'm praying for has been cut off from the stress that sticks to what they are facing. They have cast their cares and worries on you. They are recharged, revitalized, and renewed by the power of the Holy Spirit within them. They will now see the obstacles that life throws at them with new eyes, and they'll face them with new strength thanks to you, Lord. The person I'm praying for is empowered and energized right now to stand up and continue to run the race you've set before them. Hallelujah. Father, our hearts overflow with gratitude together as we consider the price paid on the cross. The price Jesus paid for physical healing is complete and amazing. When he rose from the dead, it set in stone the promises in your word to those who believe. For it is through Christ that all the promises which include healing belong to us. With the help of your spirit, we can see how much you desired healing for us, that you paid a price that we will never understand in this earthly life. The person I'm praying for is moved by this expression of your love. They want healing for anything in their body or their mind that Jesus paid the price to heal. Healing belongs to them, so here and now, they want to walk in divine health. Jesus was beaten and smitten so that they could be whole. By grace through faith, it belongs to them. The line has been drawn in the sand, and they are declaring that they want all the healing that Jesus died to give them. Together in agreement, according to your word, we bind any sickness and disease that ails the mind and body of the person I'm praying for and curse it. We command it to leave now in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that they are healed and whole thanks to the precious stripes of Jesus. He prayed a price so that they could be well and they believe it. We decree and declare that they no longer accept sickness or weakness to any degree. Your healing mercies are new every single day. Holy Spirit, please help them to grow in the grace and the knowledge of healing through the Word of God. Please continue to reveal to them healing wisdom, revelation, and understanding about how living in divine health is possible through Christ. Praise you that this moment in prayer is like a new day where they will no longer accept anything but supernatural health as your best for them. Thank you that even though Jesus Christ died many years ago and rose again, what he did for the person I'm praying for still works wonderfully today. You promise to watch over your healing promises to perform them as it says in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. Praise be to you, Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Your love is more than enough. There is no limit to it. Your grace and mercy are bountiful. You are so good to do all the wonderful things you do in their life each and every day. Thank you for sending your son Jesus that made all this available to them. It is because of him and through him that they have been made righteous in your sight. Thanks to Jesus, his shed blood and his resurrection, they are now qualified to receive every good thing you have planned for them. Open their eyes that they may see you moving in their life 
today. You promise to never leave them. You are with them through thick or thin, good or bad. We ask you together in prayer for a fresh, new touch from you. Strengthen the person I'm praying for here and now. We speak divine peace over their situation. Thank you that through Jesus, a touch from you is theirs right this very moment. We decree and declare that like never before, they see themselves interacting with you through Christ today. The awareness of your very real love is abounding in their heart and mind. It is overflowing into the lives of people they cross paths with. We decree and declare that every area of their life is being touched by you. Praise you for leading and guiding them today. The creator of the universe lives on the inside of them. You are with them today to assist them through any challenges. Your protection covers them all day long. Your wisdom guides them all day long. Thank you that your love, grace, and blessings are flowing in the life of the person I'm praying for right now because it's your good pleasure to give it all to them. You watch over them and their help comes from you. You will not let their foot slip because you never slumber nor sleep. No one ever wants to really be the speed bump in what you are doing. No one wants to be the person who continually disagrees or argues with the direction you are going. Lord, the person I'm praying for wants spiritual breakthrough that comes from building their relationship with you. If there is anything they are doing or not doing that is hindering this pursuit, please show them. Show them if there's anyone they need to go and ask forgiveness from, for love is the foundation of success in Christ. You desire that believers dwell in unity, and oftentimes acting unteachable or argumentative hurts other people. This absolutely affects our spiritual walk. Help the person I'm praying for to keep their attitude in check with your spirit. Help them to remain teachable and maintain a correctable position in life. May they show appreciation to those they come in contact with daily who may not agree with them when it is necessary to do so. May they walk in love, patience, and appreciation if they ever come in contact with someone daily who doesn't necessarily agree with them. Praise your name. Father, thank you that through Jesus, they can run boldly into your presence, even to ask for spiritual breakthrough like we're doing here in this prayer. It is your desire that they come to your throne of grace and make their needs known to you. What a privilege. We praise you for this right now in Christ. Together in prayer, we boldly come to you with the needs on the heart of the person I'm praying for. We place them before you. Every single one, including their desire for spiritual growth and advancement. We know that you are their comfort. You love them. You want to provide abundantly for them. All that they could ever need belongs to them thanks to Jesus' sacrifice. All your promises are yes and amen in Christ. As such, spiritual breakthrough is theirs. We decree and declare that they are teachable and correctable. As a result, they are growing spiritually. We decree and declare that they make unity and cooperativeness their primary focus in Jesus' name. Thank you that when they encounter a view or idea that is opposite to theirs, they will execute self-control and walk in love. They will consider the other person's perspective and how they should respond as they are led by the Holy Spirit. Even when they find themselves in a place of disagreement, they will exude love. They will check with you, Lord, and follow your lead. Praise you that even during this prayer, their heart is already opening up and becoming much more receptive to other people who share a difference of opinion. Their spiritual growth is already underway. You can trust them with more. You can reveal more of the deep things of God to them. All their needs are being looked after by you. You are working on them right now. They can take comfort knowing that you will provide the best and right answer to their spiritual needs. They are empowered with what they need to carry on and overcome all that they face as they wait for the manifested answer to their needs. Praise you that they never ever have to be afraid to go to you. They never ever have to cower in timidity or shame because they have a need. You encourage them to be bold and run to you. Your arms are open. Your heart is filled with love for them. Thank you that going forward, 
They will be direct with you like a child is to a loving father about anything that rests on their heart. They will always come boldly and respectfully to your throne when they need to come into your presence because you love them with an everlasting love. Their spiritual breakthrough is underway and what a testimony they will have. How can words do justice for the many blessings and miracles you've done in their life? Praise you for all those times you protected, delivered, saved, and promoted them. Glory to your name. You are always faithful. You are with them and will see them through to victory, no matter what they face, if they'll continue to trust in you. Praise you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your goodness to the person I'm praying for. May they never forget all that you've done and all that you will do. You gave your only son for them. Absolutely nothing compares to that great gift of salvation. We decree and declare that thanksgiving and praise continually flow from their mouth. They do not forget your undeserved favor in their life. We decree and declare that they know that it is only by grace through faith and your mercy that they have been saved. You are their source. You are their provider. You are their healer and their deliverer. You are their strength. Praise you that you always save them and protect them from harm. Through Christ, victory is theirs, no matter how big or small the battle. Thank you that the person I'm praying for is constantly supplied with all they need from you. Their heart is filled to overflowing with gratitude. We give thanks to you, Lord, for you are good and your love endures forever. We give thanks to you, God of gods, because your love endures forever. We give thanks to you, Lord of lords, because your love endures forever. Father, here and now, we ask you to open their eyes to recognize the strategies of the enemy more clearly. They wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual enemies. Open their eyes that they may see into the spiritual realm. Please give them greater insight into demonic attacks as well as an understanding of how to resist them, in Jesus' name. We thank you that in Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit, they can stand against these demonic attacks. They shall overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. The greater one lives on the inside of them. They cannot fail. They look to you for direction and the equipping to overcome every attack against their life. With your power at work within them, they never need to fall into hidden traps any longer. Show them, Holy Spirit, when these traps are placed before their feet in Jesus' name. Teach them what they need to know to stand and defeat the plans the demonic forces have brought against them. In agreement, we bind and rebuke these attacks. We speak confusion into the enemy's camp. His plans shall not prevail nor prosper against the person I'm praying for. We decree and declare that the person I'm praying for is vibrantly aware of the devil's strategies. They know how to more clearly recognize the onset of his attacks and attempts at hindering your plans. We decree and declare that their minds are illuminated by your spirit and as a result, the devil has a tough time ever taking advantage of them. Praise you that your power and authority stops him in his tracks. Thank you that they are not sidelined by any strategy the devil tries to bring against them. The person I'm praying for recognizes more clearly that they can rest in the victorious work of Jesus Christ. He stripped the enemy of all of his power and authority as your word says in Colossians chapter 2, verse 15. In Christ, they win the demonic battles that come against them. You are with them and they will never be afraid. Father, they want to step up. They want to get to know you more and grow closer to you. Their hand is raised and they want their level of commitment to you to increase more than ever before. Your word says many are called and few are chosen. They are answering your call and they know that this means that there are things in their life that have to go. Things need to change. Their mindset needs to be continually renewed by your word. Behaviors need to be aligned with your way of living right. Lord, it's going to require more of them. They have drawn a line in the sand and they have made a firm commitment to move higher in you. 
their heart and their life is open before you. You have all that they are and all that they are is yours. They are going to lean into you all the way until each task you give them is completed. We ask you in agreement to help the person I'm praying for achieve this through your power and strength in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that they are a Christian genuinely and seriously on fire for you. We decree and declare that regardless of the opposition, they will stand their ground until the victory is won in Christ. May you be pleased with all the glory and honor you receive through their life. Thank you that the person I'm praying for right now is a faithful example of who a Christian is with your help. They are bold as a lion and they are committed until the very end to do what they set their hand to. Their walk with you is getting closer and closer. Their eyes are on you who sit enthroned in heaven. They are blessed because as they seek you daily, they find you. Father, they want to know you more. They want their schedule free so that they can always put you first. In your presence is where they long to be. Here and now, they are responding to your call to spend more time in your presence. Your sweet and wonderful presence. In this moment of prayer, they are clearing their schedule and placing time with you at an even higher level of importance. Great success comes from spending time in your presence. Help them, Lord, to take what they learn from you and apply it to their life. They need your direction. They need your guidance. They need your touch. Spending time in your presence is not an option. It is not a suggestion. It is the most important means in which to stay in the center of your plan for their life. Refresh and recharge the person I'm praying for right now as they step and abide in your presence. Father, despite the darkness we hear about, you are always doing more. The light always outshines the evil and the fear. Fear always blinds and messes up faith. It hinders and oftentimes paralyzes us in our thoughts and actions. Today is not a day to shrink back in fear, but to press forward in faith. Lord, help the person I'm praying for to fill up in your presence, to get everything they need to get from you. As they spend time with you in the word and with your spirit, we ask that they always get your perspective on things. Empower them from within right now to stand on your promises and be spirit-led. Help them to live the life of faith of a believer in Jesus' name. Lord, please help them rise up in faith and continue to be used to expand your kingdom today in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that they are continually fruitful in life because they spend time with you. We decree and declare that they know how to quiet themselves and slip into your presence. They are one who basks in your presence. They catch fresh perspective and direction about the issues that are on their heart in your presence. They spend as much time as they need to with you in order to receive what they need to accomplish their assignments. Thank you that as they quiet themselves before you, dropping any weights, cares, or worries in your hands, you empower and recharge them. Praise you that once they have filled up in your presence, they vigorously hit the ground running, empowered by the Holy Spirit. They are empowered with faith and expectation of what you're going to do today in their life. This is a wonderful time to be alive in Christ. They overcome everything that comes their way in Jesus' name. Praise you that as your spirit moves mightily around the world, they are an important part of that movement. They are an effective soldier of Christ. Thank you that you have not given them a spirit of fear. As a result, the person I'm praying for is charging forward in faith and are on the front lines of the biggest movement of your kingdom the world has ever seen. Even though they are in this world, they are not of it. The enemy roams about like a roaring lion here on earth, seeking whom he may devour. Lord, wrap your supernatural protection around the person I'm praying for right now. With your spirit inside of them, lead them safely throughout the day. Please help them in their hour of need, in Jesus' name. We are asking you in agreement to stand by their side and support them with your angels. Pour out a fresh dose of your spirit's impressive power so that they can victoriously overcome 
in the midst of any challenge. With you on their side, they will win every fight of faith that they are engaged in right now. Glory to your name. Father, please help them to never drop their guard throughout their day. Remind them of all the spiritual weapons that are theirs through Christ. It is up to them to put on the helmet of salvation, pick up the sword of the Spirit, use their shield of faith, and every other piece of their spiritual armor that you've given them. Thank you for your divine protection in spiritual battles. The victory is theirs through Christ. They are never alone. He is always with them. The person I'm praying for can defend against all the attacks of the devil. They need never to be afraid. Holy Spirit, show the person I'm praying for any area that the enemy is trying to get a foothold in their life and help render his strategies ineffective. We decree and declare that they know and believe your love for them and that you understand what they are going through. You are standing by them right now. Your protection is theirs. You will never leave nor forsake them. You love and understand them. We decree and declare that you are their biggest source of help in their time of need. You are faithful and have heard their prayer. You have responded by manifesting your awesome power. Your mighty angels surround them. Together we praise you because you stand by their side, supporting them and empowering them to succeed in Christ. Thank you that they can and will endure every spiritual battle they face in life because you are right there with them. The fiery attacks of the enemy bounce off their spiritual armor and protect them from being hit. We praise you that as the person I'm praying for does their part, your protection comes through every time. They will move forward without the enemy gaining ground in their life. We thank you for your amazing protection. Father, please help them make the decision to put any unhealthy feelings, thoughts, and behaviors aside and continue to act like Jesus. Lord, together in prayer, we know how acting like Jesus in the situations we face makes all the difference in the world. There isn't a single situation that Jesus encountered that he didn't go through to come out the other side a winner. We ask you to please help them see things this way too. They are looking at Jesus and want to be just like him. He is the perfect example. They want to think like him and act just like him. With the help of the Holy Spirit, we ask you to help the person I'm praying for renew their mind to this. Help them to act on your word in faith every day. They have hidden your word in their heart that they might not sin against you. They delight in your instructions and will not neglect your direction. Please help them to change the way they think and act so as to respond to what they are confronted with in such a way that pleases you. With you on their side, they simply cannot fail. With you desiring nothing but the best for them, their life is changing even as we pray. Praise be to you, Lord. We decree and declare that in every encounter they have, they will think and act as Jesus would. They are going to replicate Jesus in every area of life with your help and to the best of their abilities. We decree and declare that they are starting right here and now, carrying on from this day forward. With your help, Father, by your grace, over time and with dedication, they will go after this lofty goal of being like Jesus consistently. Teach them, Holy Spirit, that they may follow your guidance. Give them understanding so that they can walk in victory. Direct them in the path of your commands because in your instructions do they delight. Praise you that you will help complete what they have started in this prayer. The person I'm praying for will continue their efforts to act like Jesus until they really do think, talk, and act like him with your help. Their life is already changing through this prayer and it will never be the same again. They are seeking you with all their heart and their life can simply never stay the same. The best is yet to come. You are good and desire the very best for them. You are the one who said to ask and we shall receive, to seek and we will find, to knock and the door will be opened. So Lord, we ask in faith for you to bless them abundantly. Now because you are faithful and you hear this prayer, as they increase, 
help them to have the grace both to enjoy the increase, but to also use it for the advancement of your kingdom. This is not about putting on a show with the increase. This is not about putting on a show with abundance. This is not about spending it on whatever comes their way. Guide them, Lord, to use your blessings for something positive that will go into their heavenly account. At the same time, Father, you're good, so please help them enjoy your goodness here on earth. May they enjoy the increase you give them. It is perfectly okay for them to personally enjoy some benefit from it because you love them. Like a father loves their child, you want them to enjoy the life you've blessed them with. Hallelujah. Give them revelation on your goodness and your desire to give them all things richly to enjoy. Reveal to them that your blessings cover all areas of life. They have worked hard for the blessings that are coming their way, and they have a right to enjoy a part of them personally for your glory. Praise your name. Strengthen them now to carry out your call on their life. With the Holy Spirit living in them, they have no excuse. They do not have to stay this way in life. We ask you together in prayer to please help them to toughen up like a good soldier. Help them become strong in spirit so that they can take on any attack the enemy might try to bring against them in Jesus' name. Show the person I'm praying for how to resolutely stand up and lay hold of your resurrection power within them. Show them how to courageously overcome every situation in the power of the Holy Spirit. We decree and declare that they are abundantly blessed of the Lord in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that their personal blessings are increasing more and more for your glory. Thank you that they are being molded and nurtured into becoming an even bigger source of blessings to other people. They are truly leading when it comes to advancing your kingdom. As they increase because of you prospering them, Lord, please give them wisdom, revelation, and understanding about how to handle the increase. Show them to whom they should give, as well as how they should spend and invest the finances in Jesus' name. Praise you that they have the mind of Christ to remain humble in this life, as well as deal appropriately with all the blessings that you are placing in their hands. They are truly blessed of the Lord through Jesus. And most important of all, they will take your blessings and see to it that the gospel of Jesus Christ continues to spread around the world. They are filled with faith, courage, and confidence in Jesus' name. They are able to face and overcome every situation in life. With the promises of your word and the power of the Holy Spirit within them, they refuse to let fear ever rule them. They boldly declare that they can do all things through Christ who strengthens them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that with you on their side, they have all they need to overcome every challenge that they will ever encounter. Every need they have is abundantly supplied according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. The enemy roams about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He sets traps to catch believers and lure them onto the path towards defeat. He often uses bitterness, unforgiveness, and ultimately offense as subtle weapons. Help the person I'm praying for to not ever fall for these clever, seemingly insignificant traps. Please show and help them to walk in love towards others in Jesus' name. They look to your Holy Spirit to help guide them through their daily situations. Please show them if they have ever hurt someone and how to approach situations like that in the future in a way that pleases you. Please empower them by your Holy Spirit to react to life's curveballs with spiritual maturity in Jesus' name. Also remind them that oftentimes people don't intentionally hurt others. More times than not, it was not meant for harm. We call forth your mercy and grace to rise up from within them towards others. They will not fall for these traps from the enemy. We bind and rebuke all plans of the enemy against them and call them exposed and fruitless. We speak healing and restoration over any area of their life that has been infiltrated and damaged by the devil. Fix and fortify any entrance the enemy used in the past to gain entrance into their life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We decree and declare that they are not caught in the traps of the devil. They are a source of love and goodness, not offense or any other evil strategy. With your help, Father, they overcome his plans against them. Your love dominates their life. 
They are free in Christ. Walking in love is their primary focus. To infuse every situation with your love. They abruptly refuse to allow the enemy to use them as a source of causing someone else to stumble. Jesus walked in love, and where he went, miracles happened. We ask that miracles, signs, and wonders pour forth in the life of the person I'm praying for as they willingly obey your instructions. We praise you that even in this prayer, their heart is being molded and changed by you. Right now, the answers they are seeking from you are crossing their path. From deep within, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is raising them up. Praise you that they are quick to bury any and all offense and they effectively destroy what the devil is trying to do. No weapon formed against them shall prosper, like you said in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. No trap or device of the enemy shall snare their foot. They are an effective spiritual warrior. There is none like you. All that we see around us was created by you. Is there anything impossible for you? The answer is no. That same power that made creation can also flow in the life of the person I'm praying for. Right now, they cast all that they are concerned about into your capable hands. Every fear, worry, anything at all that is stealing their peace, they give it all to you. Please give them the wisdom, favor, grace, and anything else they need to overcome the challenges they face in Jesus' name. Fill them up with your divine peace. That same peace that quieted the winds and the waves. The person I'm praying for is kept in perfect peace because their mind is on you and not their situation. We decree and declare that you have taken their burdens off of their shoulders. We decree and declare that their mind is clear and their steps are light. Thank you for your supernatural peace that surpasses all understanding. It's a peace of mind that only you can give. They are free in you, Lord. Their heart and mind are at rest. Holy Spirit, please help the person I'm praying for navigate down the path that is set before them. Surround them with protection and favor. Remind them to spend time in your word daily so that they can refuel spiritually and arm themselves for life's daily battles. They cannot lose with you on their side. You are their strength and their victory. Your comfort has freed them from the cares and anxieties that tried to steal their peace of mind. Father, there is nothing like your wisdom. When you give revelation, it opens the doors to abundance. Please grant them prosperity and give them understanding so that they know how to properly handle it. Pour out your blessings on their life, in Jesus' name. May their situation change dramatically. Holy Spirit, guide them so that they might increase in their skills of handling blessing after blessing. They may have increase, but increase will never take your place in their heart. We bind and break any hindrance in the life of the person I'm praying for, in Jesus' name. Any stronghold or limiting barrier is broken now through the anointing of God Almighty. Help them to avoid all pitfalls and prosperity traps. They are blessed to be a blessing, and they will walk in the abundant life Jesus came to give them for His glory. We decree and declare exponential increase over their life. We decree and declare bountiful blessings are already on their way to them. Thank you that you can miraculously multiply all that they set their hand to. Praise you for bringing increase that only you can bring to them. God ordained opportunities to grow what you entrust to them are happening time and again. We call in the harvest of all that they have sown in Jesus' name. May they get great returns on every investment you lead them to partake in. Prosperity belongs to the person I'm praying for as they seek you and your kingdom first. Everything they set their hand to is blessed and the chains that held them back are broken. Transition and change is all around us. 
Your word is full of moments where people experienced fresh starts and new opportunities. The person I'm praying for seeks this too. In agreement, we ask for new beginnings for them. Holy Spirit, please guide them through this wave of change that is on its way to them at the right time. They look forward to these new seasons. They anticipate the new opportunities and new people they will meet. We rebuke the spirit of fear right now. Fill them up with boldness and confident expectation in Jesus' name. You will provide all that they need to succeed. You are faithful and will show them where they need to go. Please prepare them for what they are praying for. Give them wisdom and favor that they'll need for new beginnings in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that things are ending in their life and a new season is on the horizon that will arrive right on time. We decree and declare that this new chapter is filled to overflowing with new experiences. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding them step by step. You are showing them the way to go as new doors open to them. Thank you for doing something new in their life. Praise you for your plan. Your way and your will be done. The person I'm praying for is pressing towards the new beginnings you have in store with courage and boldness in Christ. Father, the greatest power in the universe resides inside of them. You live in them. You are alive and mighty. You are the great I am. There is none like you. Your son is seated in heaven on your right side. He is interceding for the person I'm praying for at this very moment. Your mighty Holy Spirit resides on the inside of them. They can't lose. Fill them with a fresh dose of your unsearchable power right now. They desire to demonstrate your strength and walk in your ways today. Father, please help them to be more like your son. They want to be like Jesus. They want to walk like he walks. They want to talk like he talks. They want to act like he acts. Lord, we call forth the love that has been shed abroad in their heart by the Holy Spirit. May that love dominate all that they do today. In Jesus' name, please help them to stay free from offense. Help them to release any resentment or grudges that the enemy would try to have them take on towards other people that they come in contact with today. We decree and declare that they experience your power like never before. The greater one lives inside of them. They cannot lose. They are victorious in Christ. Father, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives inside of them and is at their disposal whenever they need it. Regardless of what may come their way today, your awesome power is released when they open their heart and let it go. Hallelujah. The colossal power that Jesus walked in is inside of them. This monumental power is constantly present in their heart and is more than enough to face and overcome any obstacle the enemy tries to conjure up. Every day, they are acting more like Jesus. They continually look for opportunities to pray, help, lift up, and encourage those around them. Help the person I'm praying for to see what they can do to help in order to become Jesus' hands and feet in others' lives. They have the mind of Christ today. They think just like he thinks. What Jesus does is what they do. What Jesus says is what they say. We agree in prayer right here and right now that the person I'm praying for reflects your love. They walk with signs and wonders following them to your glory. Surround them with your angels and keep them safe today. They are blessed to be a blessing. The abundant life Jesus came to give them is theirs. Thank you that the Holy Spirit is empowering them to be more like Jesus. He is producing the life of Jesus Christ in them. They are Jesus' hands and his feet to everyone around them today. Under your wings, they have divine protection. You have given them angels to guard over them. Protecting your children is important to you. Together in prayer, we ask for protection from all evil and the strategies that they conjure up. We speak confusion into the enemy's camp. 
we declare that their plans are thwarted. Nothing the enemy devises can ever outsmart you. Nothing the enemy brings against them can ever truly prosper when their faith is in you. The person I'm praying for looks to you as their refuge. Protect them in every area of their life in Jesus' name. Shelter them against every storm. Give them wisdom and direction to steer through any challenging circumstances they find themselves in. Cover them with your presence. When they feel weak, you are strong. We decree and declare that your protection covers every possible entry point into their life. We decree and declare that all that evil has planned to do comes to nothing. Thank you for shielding them from wicked plans. All that was planned against them cannot stand in your presence. Comfort the person I'm praying for right now. Fill them up with your spirit. You are an ever-present help in time of need, and we thank you for that. Father, gratitude fills their heart. Words cannot truly express how appreciative they are of this life you have given them. They were once lost, but are now found. They are a child of yours. Despite all that they may face on earth, heaven is their home. Your goodness and mercy follows them all the days of their life. They look around and see your hand in everything. The birds chirping, the sun shining, the wind blowing, the smile from someone passing by. Thank you, God, for all the beautiful things in life. The person I'm praying for is so thankful for how good you are. We decree and declare that you are worthy of all the praise and glory. We decree and declare that there is none like you, the living God. Thank you for always being there for the person I'm praying for. Thank you for never giving up on them. You are always with them and will never, ever leave them. Your peace is unlike any other. Your love is unlike any other. You are faithful to all that you promise. In your presence is where they long to be. Not only is the person I'm praying for blessed right now, they have all eternity to spend with you too. Words can never fully express how thankful they are. Thank you, God. Thank you for another wonderful day that you have made. Today, they want all that you have in store for them. They don't want to miss a single thing. Open their eyes to see any area of their life that is dominated by mental or emotional strongholds. We bind and rebuke any traps of the enemy in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. We render the evil plans and strategies of the devil exposed, useless, and ineffective. Lord, help the person I'm praying for to uproot and cast down every one of his deceptive lies. Your word is powerful and contains the key to victory today. Help them to renew their mind to think in alignment with you. Together in prayer, we ask you to help them make your word of even more importance in their life. They are seeking you today like never before. There are no shortcuts. There is no cutting corners when it comes to pursuing you with all of their heart. They are growing spiritually and advancing your kingdom in Jesus' name. Praise you that with your help, all things work together for good in their life today. Together in prayer, we ask you to help them change from within and excel at anything they put their hand to. Through the help of the Holy Spirit, help them change their attitude and outlook on life. Give them greater revelation about your call on their life. All things are possible, and there is so much more in store for them when it comes to what you want to do in their life. We decree and declare that their mind is free from the devil's lies. We decree and declare that they think your thoughts. They think, speak, and act on your word. Their mind is free and clear from the devil's mental and emotional strongholds in Jesus' name. Praise you that because of your spirit and your word working in them, they are completely free to carry out all that you desire to do today. They are surrounded with your favor. They have a great attitude, and they are exactly the kind of person you can use and can bless abundantly. Hallelujah. Everything they touch is prospered. 
We call forth protection, blessings, promotion, and all-around increase today, in Jesus' name. As the person I'm praying for works as unto the Lord, you are their rewarder. One way or another, you will personally see to it that they are increased for your honor and glory. Thank you for guiding them through their day. Praise you that you never leave their side. You watched over them today, and here they are. Father, they want to continue to be a shining example of Jesus. They don't want one single area of their life to give the wrong impression of who he is. Together in prayer, we are asking you to please open their eyes to see their life as you see it. Show them any areas that they need to rise up in Christ. They have raised their hand to declare before you that they are stepping up. Empower them, Lord, to take the steps necessary to make the changes they need to. We decree and declare that areas of their life are changing. Even areas they thought might never change. Behaviors and attitudes are lining up even more with Jesus right now. Please help them see beyond themselves as they go about their day. Help them see past the trials and tribulations they face so that they can see what they can do for others who are going through an even rougher patch in their life. They want to assist people around them who are also crying out for help. Others who are honestly facing challenges more difficult than theirs. Truthfully, when they step back and look at the whole world, despite the very real assaults occurring in their life, they are blessed than most of the rest of the world. We ask you to remind them to keep a healthy perspective. Help them to remain continually thankful. With the surplus of ways available to help others, please guide them as to where and how to help. Holy Spirit, they want to be a blessing to those they cross paths with. Whether it's time, money, energy, or a combination of many things, we speak increase over them. All in all, they just want to thank you for all you've done, all you're doing, and all you will continue to do in their life. We decree and declare that anything less than being a positive example of Jesus will never satisfy them. We decree and declare that they are pleasing in your sight tomorrow and all the days of their life. We praise you for the wonderful purpose you have planned for them. Hallelujah. Thank you that their eyes are fixed on Jesus. Thank you that with their eyes fixed on Jesus, they are letting go of any toxic attitudes and behaviors that have held them back. Going forward tomorrow, they are excited about walking with Jesus again and being an example to others of who he is and what he stands for in this world. Their awareness of others is increasing daily. They are continually looking for ways to bless those in worse situations than they are. Praise you, Lord, that they are changing people's lives for your glory. We come to you together asking for healing. We are asking for restoration from their past. Disappointments, setbacks, letdowns, pain, all of it. It is easy to quickly judge those who have been unfaithful and hurtful. We ask you to help them remember that no one is perfect. Hurt people hurt people. Heal them, Lord, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Wash their soul in your love and peace. Please empower and help them to overcome in Jesus' name. Part of the healing process is forgiving others. You have forgiven the person I'm praying for through Christ, and we ask you to help them forgive others. Please help them not only to forgive, but strengthen them to rebuild relationships with some of the people they forgive in Jesus' name. Yes. Please show them which relationships require not only forgiveness, but need to be rebuilt. By your grace, they can do it. Thank you for allowing them to run into your presence boldly whenever they need anything. You have specifically asked them to be straight to the point and to boldly request of you what it is that is on their heart. They are to expect you to answer their requests. Praise you for your faithfulness. Praise you for your love. They are believing you for complete healing and restoration. Through Christ and the leading of your Holy Spirit, they will walk out their restoration. Thank you for empowering and helping them in any way they need it. We lift up the needs of the person I'm praying for and call them met in Jesus' name. You are a good, good father. You want to bless them because you love them. You want to heal them because you love them. Hallelujah. We decree and declare that they are freed from their past hurts. With your divine help, they hold no resentment towards those who hurt them in the past. 
we decree and declare that as they've been forgiven through Jesus, they too forgive and move on from relationships that are not blessed by you. Thank you for guiding them to know which relationships need to be rekindled in their life. Thank you for showing them with whom you want to rebuild their relationship. Thank you for also showing them the ones they need to let go. Resentment, bitterness, and grudges fall off of them like water off a duck's back. By the power of the Holy Spirit within them, they are no longer paralyzed by past pain and hurt. In Jesus' name, they are charging forward, going after all that you have placed in their hand to do. They are healed through Jesus, and they are seeing that healing of their past manifest day by day. Their life is being rebuilt even as we are here praying. You are love, and you love them with an everlasting love. You will never cast them out of your presence. We ask for an increase of boldness for them right now. Fill them up to overflowing with reverential boldness to face any and all obstacles that come across their path in Jesus' name. Thank you for allowing the person I'm praying for to enter your presence anytime they want. You will never turn them away. We praise you that you delight in answering their prayers and giving them good gifts. We are releasing our faith, fully expecting to receive what we have lifted up to you today in prayer. Thank you for their complete healing and restoration. Thank you that they can always count on you to help. No matter what it is that they come against, greater is he who is in them than he who is in the world. Even if they reach an obstacle that they don't feel they can get around, even if they've done everything they believe they can do. They don't need to give up because of difficulties because they know who they are in Christ. Together in agreement, we are making a big spiritual push through this prayer. Greater are you who are in them than anything they come up against. We ask you to strengthen them with the indwelling power of the Holy Spirit. Please help them tap into the supernatural power they need to overcome and conquer any obstacle in Jesus' name. We call forth the power within them right now to flow out and knock any obstacle aside. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. We decree and declare victory in every situation through Christ. We decree and declare that a spirit of wisdom and revelation with understanding has been granted to them. They know what to do and the way to continue to move forward is clear. The exact wisdom they need is theirs. The direction they need to take is theirs. You will have the last laugh on this one, Lord, because the enemy will not defeat a child of God. Despite overcoming obstacles themselves, they are still a blessing to somebody else every day in Jesus' name. They are in sync with the Holy Spirit and are led by Him to people and situations. Hallelujah. Praise you for all the people touched by you through the person I'm praying for. The right words are said. The right actions are taken. Lives are changed and all the glory goes to you. The person I'm praying for overcomes every obstacle and even has time to help others succeed too. They look to you. Thank you for another day. Praise you that they can take all that happened today and place it in your loving hands. Thank you that they can always go to you about anything on their heart. They don't need to look to others. They can look to you. You are number one in their life. Thank you for all that you kept them from today. Praise you for guiding them every step of the way today. Holy Spirit, continue to remind them that you are always there for them the very moment a challenge arises. We speak peace and divine rest over them right now in Jesus' name. The person I'm praying for is so grateful for what you've done for them. Father, you are worthy to be the focus of their rejoicing. All you have done in Christ is worthy of praise, glory, and honor for eternity. They have something to shout about. Lord, please help them to shake off fear and inhibition right now in Jesus' name. Here and now, they are making the decision to go ahead and let the joy that is in their heart loose. Together we praise and thank you. Worthy are you, Father God. Thank you for the wonderful things you did in their life today and will do again tomorrow. The person I'm praying for does not need an outside reason in order to rejoice in the Lord. When they have even the smallest inkling of joy, they will lift up their hands and give you praise. 
We decree and declare that they run to you first whenever they encounter a test or trial during their day. We decree and declare that you, Lord, are their strength and the one in whom they trust wholly to help them accomplish every task put in their hands. Praise you that you are always trustworthy. Praise you that you are always faithful. Hallelujah. Regardless of what tomorrow and the days following may bring, when joy overtakes them, they will open up their mouth and dance before you. When joy rises up in them and seems like it is about to burst, they will shout out the joy that is within them. Every day they are never alone. Every day you are always with them to help them. They are so thankful that they are your child. Hallelujah. You are so good. Thank you for blessing them. Your goodness and your mercy are endless. Even if life gets busy, the person I'm praying for never wants to forget how wonderful you are. You hold first place in their heart. They trust in you and look to you to lead them. Where you lead, they will follow. Holy Spirit, lead them across the path of those you wish to touch today. Grant them wisdom in the situations they step into. Illuminate the darkness by your presence in them. Today is a day that can only be a success if it's walked out with you. We decree and declare boldly that today is lived out for your glory and honor. We decree and declare that your goodness surrounds them everywhere they go. Favor opens doors for them. Healing and health fills their body. Wisdom directs them. Miracles, signs, and wonders follow them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thanks to Jesus Christ, the person I'm praying for is free, delivered, healed, saved, and whole. They are abundantly blessed, and they trust in you. They shall never be shaken. They want to know you more today. They want the reality of their God to be undeniably evident. Together in prayer, we know that you are totally willing to make yourself more known to them today. All they need to do is surrender any part of their life, and you will become more real in that area. Right here, right now, they are raising their hand and choosing to surrender more of themselves to you so that they can experience even more. Hallelujah. Lord, have your way in their life. Your will and plan for today be done in Jesus' name. Do whatever you warrant is necessary to make them the kind of person they need to be in order that they can know and experience you more intimately. They bow their knees before you. There is none like you. They want to walk with you as closely as they can today and every day. We ask you to lay your hand on them in a special way right now. May your powerful touch reach deep into every area of their life in Jesus' name. Please let your powerful presence and anointing be sensed by them. Lord, may those who are near them recognize it too. Praise you. They are carrying your power and your anointing today. They want to manifest and demonstrate your presence like never before. Thank you for laying your hand on the person I'm praying for. Thank you for your anointing covering every area of their life. We decree and declare that your sweet presence is felt in every surrendered area of their life today. We decree and declare that since they are surrendering more and more of themselves to you, as a result, they are experiencing a stronger relationship with you. As they give more of themselves to you, in turn, you reveal more of yourself to them. That's amazing, Father. Even as we are praying right now, they've been touched by you in a brand new way. Your hand is on their life and your spirit lives on the inside of them. They are anointed to say the words and do the works you have called them to carry out today. Protect them, bless them, bless their family and friends, guide them in all that they undertake today. They carry the power of Jesus Christ and manifest your presence wherever they go, whatever they touch. Father, your word says, how can two walk together unless they agree? They want to walk even more closely with the Holy Spirit today. We ask you to please help them work effectively with your spirit. Please teach them how to let the Holy Spirit lead and guide them through whatever they may encounter today in Jesus' name. Your son Jesus said that it was an advantage that he leave and the Holy Spirit come in his place to continue his earthly ministry. 
Grant them wisdom and revelation with understanding about how to work with the Holy Spirit so that the ministry of Jesus can continue through them. Having your Spirit work with them today is just like having Jesus by their side all day long. Hallelujah. They surrender all to you. They want your will and your timing. There is none like you. You are all-powerful and abound in majesty. You are ready to help and always there whenever they need you. You are faithful. It's easy to forget that and try to take on the challenges that life presents to us all on our own. There's simply no way the person I'm praying for will truly overcome hardships all by themselves without wasting a lot of time, money, and energy. Together in prayer, we thank you that you are their source for all they need. You are an ever-present help all day long. We decree and declare that the Holy Spirit works mightily in their life. We decree and declare that they recognize His guidance and obediently follow His instructions. Praise you for the works of Christ done through them. Thank you, Father, that the Holy Spirit works miracles through them, healing the sick, casting out demons, and bringing freedom to those who are bound through Jesus Christ. Your anointing is available to them at any time today. By faith, they receive it. Your power is filling every area of their life right now and has already gone to work on their behalf. Your power and love enables them to overcome all that assaults them. Any and all traps, pitfalls, and hidden dangers the devil has tried to place before them do not avail. Your anointing saturates all that they do and everywhere they go. We praise and thank you for your miraculous power that's enabling them to rise up above the hardships and overcome them in Christ. Today is truly a blessed day. It is so easy for us all to make time for everything else but you, Lord. Or we set aside a little time but not nearly enough than what you deserve. If we don't set enough time aside with you, then our prayer life is undoubtedly affected. The person I'm praying for wants to make even more time for intimate fellowship with you. They need a touch from you. Right here and now, they want to give time with you greater priority. It is of utmost importance to their spiritual walk. They recognize that time with you is the most important part of their day and week, period. Lord, please help them to schedule time with you first and then schedule everything else around that in Jesus' name. They want to be alone and uninterrupted with you. We thank and praise you that you have given the person I'm praying for all that they need to win in life. They have your all-powerful word, they have spiritual weapons, they have supernatural power through Christ, they cannot lose unless they give in and give up. Please help them to have an attitude that is fixed and focused to win every battle that they face in life, in Jesus' name. Lord, help them cement in an attitude that simply never gives in, never gives up, and never surrenders. By your grace and strength within them, help them use your power and authority with accuracy. With all these things in place, the devil will be shoved down in defeat wherever he raises his head. One touch from you changes everything. We decree and declare that you have first place in their heart. We decree and declare that they are faithful to pray and fellowship with you in Jesus' name. Their unhindered heart is open before you. Thank you for touching their heart and touching every situation in their life. Your Holy Spirit is clearly guiding them during times of fellowship. He is answering questions and leading them in a way that they should go. Thank you that as they walk away from their time of intimate fellowship and prayer, they are supernaturally strengthened and revitalized. They have renewed spiritual stamina to face any situation that comes their way, in Jesus' name. The person I'm praying for is committed to get in the fight and stay in it until the victory is won through Christ. Their never-surrender attitude abounds. They are following the lead of Jesus wherever He takes them. A touch from you has strengthened them and given them peace. Thank you, Lord. They are empowered by your Spirit and are standing on your word. They are taking their spiritual weapons and advancing your kingdom daily. They will never, ever give in, give up, or surrender. Thank you for touching them through this prayer and giving them everything they need to win. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. That's what your word says, and they believe it. 
You are their protection. You are the one who delivers them. Cover them with your angels. Surround them with your shield. Together in agreement, we speak deliverance over whatever the enemy has placed in their life. In Jesus' name, we break and destroy all that has been sent to hinder the person I'm praying for. What was meant for evil, we declare, shall be turned to good in their life. May your angels guard and keep them. Let your favor rest upon them, making a way for them where there is no way. Strengthen them to do all that you instruct. We decree and declare that what once bound them has been broken by your awesome power. We decree and declare that all chains have been destroyed as they came in contact with your anointing. Greater is he who is in them than he who is in the world. Thank you that they triumph in Christ. Praise you that deliverance is already underway. Please grant them the wisdom and understanding that they need to navigate their way through their situation in Jesus' name. Establish their discernment so that they only follow the leading of your spirit. Hallelujah. The person I'm praying for is free indeed. They are blessed and they are delivered because you have brought them through it. Nothing is impossible for you. Even when there was no way of escape, you made a way and parted the Red Sea. You did it before, and you can do it again in the life of the person I am praying for. We ask you to help them trust you. Help them to keep their faith in you. You are a loving father and have heard the cry of your child. You are the same today, and you do not change. Faith pleases you, and through it, you can intervene in their situation. We bind and rebuke unbelief in Jesus' name. We break down and destroy any strongholds of doubt that may be in their mind. You can make a way where there is no way. If you are for them, and you are, who or what can be against them? We decree and declare that you are faithful, and you are not a man that you should lie. We decree and declare that you are awesome, and there is nothing too hard or too difficult for you. The faith of the person I'm praying for is in you, not their own works. They are not leaning on their own understanding, but their trust is in you. You are their father. They believe your love for them. They are seeking you with all of their heart, their mind, and their strength. You have all of them. Fill them with your love and comfort. Open their eyes to see you moving in their life, in Jesus' name. Show the person I am praying for how faithful you always are. They are yours all the days of their life. Their faith and trust are laser-focused on you because you won't let them down. You are enthroned in heaven. There is none more powerful than you. You are the great I am, and we bow our knees before you. Your love has no limit for the person I'm praying for. You are their father, and you are attentive to their cry. Here and now, we are lifting up a situation where they need your intervention. Lord, grant them wisdom and direct their steps as to what to do. Please give them peace and comfort in this moment of prayer, in Jesus' name. Show them what to do, Holy Spirit. Where you guide them, they will follow. They look to you to lead them down the path they are to take as they make one decision after another. Give them favor and all that they need to see your will fulfilled. We decree and declare that you are their source of deliverance in this moment. We decree and declare that your Holy Spirit is showing them the way even now. Thank you that you are their strength and their deliverer. You are the faithful one that they look to for direction. In your presence, there is peace. Your will be done. Fill the person I'm praying for with hope and grant them grace to carry out all that you show them. 
praise you that all things work together for good in their life. All thanks to you. You are their source of strength. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead resides on the inside of them. Despite what they may be facing, we ask you to empower them to overcome. Fill them up with your boldness and courage in Jesus' name. We bind and rebuke the spirit of fear or any other evil strategy of the enemy designed to hold them back. You can make a way where there is no way. Nothing is impossible for you. In this moment of prayer, they choose to keep their eyes on Jesus. They will not fall. The person I'm praying for will not be shaken from trusting in you. We decree and declare that since you are for them, who or what can be against them? We decree and declare that everything they need has been placed inside of them. Thank you that with the Holy Spirit, they will navigate the path that is before them successfully. Praise you that their confidence is in you. Their faith and hope are in you. Through faith and patience, they shall inherit your promises. The person I'm praying for will stay the course and experience the victory in Christ. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. They are more than conquerors and shall see you come through once again. Father, they look to you in this moment of praying together. Change is what life is all about. They lift their hands to you and ask for change. Holy Spirit, show them the path they are to take. May they strengthen their faith as they spend time in your word. With your help, whatever you ask them to do, they will do for this change. Before they were even fashioned in their mother's womb, you had a plan for them. The person I'm praying for rests in knowing you are faithful and that you have heard this prayer for change in their life. We bind and rebuke the spirit of fear. Please fill them up with boldness as they embark further along the path you desire that they take in life. Give them the wisdom and favor they need for new doors to open in Jesus' name. Divinely connect them with the people and resources they need as well. We decree and declare that change is already underway. We decree and declare that they look to your word as a lamp to their feet and a light to their path. Holy Spirit, you are their guide as they step into new situations and meet new people. Trust them with more and empower them to handle the change that is on its way to them in Jesus' name. Thank you that with your help, this season of transition will be successful. Praise you that you are walking with the person I'm praying for every step of the way. We magnify and thank you for the goodness and blessings that come along with God-given change. We come to you in prayer and ask in agreement for help for them. They look to you to be their guide. Show them the way to walk. Holy Spirit, please take them by the hand and lead them through what they are facing in Jesus' name. Your word is a lamp to their feet and a light to their path. Help them to remain at peace. Please give them the grace and strength that they need to follow your lead. Help them to be like Jesus, to think like Jesus right in the midst of the storm. Lord, please empower them to see the situation as you do. Surround them with protection in Jesus' name. May they see the battle of knowing what to do or where to go, won through Christ. The direction they seek belongs to them. They have the mind of Christ in every situation. The person I'm praying for stays grounded in your love. Knowing that you love them as their father carries them through to the other side. For it is you that made it clear in James chapter 1 verse 5 that if they ask for wisdom, you'll give it to them if they do not doubt. We decree and declare that they have the mind of Christ in whatever situation they find themselves in. We decree and declare that even in this moment, the wisdom they seek is rising up from within them. Understanding is enlightening the path they are to take. The knowledge they need is illuminating their situation. We thank you for rewiring them on the inside to sincerely and genuinely tap into your supernatural revelation. 
The person I'm praying for doesn't give in to quitting. They hold the line and will follow where your spirit leads them. With your help, the person I'm praying for taps into your peace from deep within them, and it supernaturally anchors them to be calm as you show them the way to go. The wisdom and direction they seek from you is theirs, and we exalt you for it. We ask you to show them if there is an area in their life that they have allowed the enemy and fear to enter. We ask you to rescue them from any craziness they are experiencing. If there's anything in their life where they have given themselves over to the things of this world, please reveal it to them. Help them to change, Lord. Help them to align their life with your word. They want to abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You are love and constantly think about them. You only want what's best for the person I'm praying for all day long. In turn, you ask that they keep their heart and mind focused on you and your kingdom above all else so that you can meet their needs. If there is anything that is sitting on the throne of their heart apart from you, show them and help them to remove it and cast it down in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that they deeply reverence you for the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Your peace is overflowing even in the midst of storms they are facing in Jesus' name. With the loving help of the Holy Spirit, they are all the more cautious about their thoughts, what they say, and how they act. They are laser focused on keeping their life in order with your help. We decree and declare that even now the storms in their life are being sorted out and quieted in your presence. Thank you that the doors and windows in their life that may have allowed the enemy and worldliness to penetrate have been closed. Praise you that time with you is top priority in their life. Their steps are ordered by you. Their life is ordered by you. As the person I'm praying for lives a life of faith and trust in you, any disorder in their life does not prevail in Jesus' name. They have the victory in Christ. Things in their life are aligned with the windows of heaven above, and blessings are pouring forth for your glory on the earth beneath. You have a plan, a course you want them to follow. Help them identify and drop distractions from their life, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, please help them to never lose focus from this. We ask you to help them set their eyes on the finish line and go the distance until finally they complete the task you gave them to do. Lord, they know that it's all or nothing. They know it's about 100% commitment to you and your call on their life. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, please help them to take all their spiritual, mental, and physical energy to finish their course with joy. We ask you in agreement to empower them to help them make it all the way to the finish line of the calling you have for them in Jesus' name. The person I'm praying for wants to walk worthy of the calling in which they were called by you. We bind and rebuke anything or anyone who may be trying to pull them off the alignment they have with your calling. If there is any ungodly hindrance in their path, we command that it bow its knees to Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that the person I'm praying for knows without a doubt that you have a plan and a purpose for their life. We decree and declare that they are 100% committed to what you want to do. Praise you that they just cranked up the seriousness of living life on purpose for your honor and glory. They are following the leading of your spirit as he guides them day by day. Thank you that with your help, they will achieve your plan for their life. Hallelujah. They just shifted to a higher gear. The person I'm praying for is putting all their spiritual, mental, and physical energy into following your lead and fulfilling your call and purpose. Thank you that Jesus paid it all for them. They are a child of God and their redemption is complete. They don't have to chase after it. They don't have to claw their way through life for it. They are as saved as saved can be. Heaven is their home and it's something you have already bought and purchased for them through Jesus. Lord, please help them renew their mind to this. 
Help them enjoy this freedom that is theirs by grace through faith in Jesus' name. Fill them up by your Spirit right now with this liberty in Christ that is rightfully theirs. We bind and rebuke any form of bondage and fear that would try to cling to them in opposition to this wonderful truth. We speak deliverance and breakthrough over the life of the person I'm praying for in every single way possible. We decree and declare that they have liberty in Christ and they are free. We decree and declare that their past cannot hold them back. Their future is bright thanks to Jesus. Praise you that Jesus has set them free. Fear, bondage, and anything else the devil tries to hold them down with is to no avail. Thank you that they are redeemed from the curse of the law and are now a part of your family. They are a child of God. They are delivered. Breakthrough is theirs now in Jesus' name. They are enjoying more and more of the liberty and freedom purchased for them by Jesus. Jesus said it best when he said, it is finished. You are good and your love endures forever. Thank you for the deliverance and breakthrough that is occurring in their life right now. They bow their knees before you. They want to be led in what they set their hand to today. Not their will, but yours be done. As you direct their life, give them more discernment as you show them the way to walk. When you do tell them to turn or to change, please give them the strength to follow you. We bind and rebuke the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. You are love, Father, and want only the very best for the person I'm praying for. Help them to continue to ignore fear and obey whatever you say and wherever you lead them to go. Your plan is always best, and we praise you for the victory. Father, signs and wonders follow where your word is spoken. You watch over your word to perform it and confirm it. May mighty miracles flow forth in their life. Hallelujah. Everything in your kingdom is activated by faith, so they release their faith right now for supernatural signs to be manifested. They are among those in the body of Christ who are believing for the miraculous to still happen today. You are the same awesome God that parted the Red Sea. Please help them release their faith for even more of your awesome signs and wonders. Praise you that as the message of Jesus is shared, the miraculous pours forth through the power of the Holy Spirit in their life. We thank you that your anointing is all over the scripture, and as they share their faith with others, your presence is manifested. Together here in prayer, we release our faith for many more miracles to follow them wherever they go. Glory to your name. We decree and declare that they are spirit-led in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that even the slightest touch of their heart by your Holy Spirit, and they respond. Step by step, moment by moment, they are making course corrections. They fully cooperate with you because they know your voice and another voice they will not follow. We praise and thank you that they are in the center of your will because they are sensitive to you. They are being led exactly where they need to be today so that you complete what you started in them and they finish their course with joy. The miraculous follows them and you get all the glory. They hunger for you first and signs and wonders second. They continually believe and expect to see the supernatural in manifestation every day. Thank you that you faithfully authenticate your word and divinely meet their needs. When the person I'm praying for shares the word of God, they expect signs and wonders to follow today, tomorrow, and the rest of their days. They expect to see people healed, the blind to see, and captives set free by your wonder-working power. Praise you in advance for more and more miracles taking place in and through them. Thank you for loving them. Your love is amazing. It is endless. It never, ever fails. They are eternally thankful that nothing can separate them from your great and wonderful love. Your love is powerful. Your love changes their life. We ask you in agreement right now to give them a fresh touch of your life-transforming love. Give them a greater awareness of your love's constancy and power in their life. 
Help them, Holy Spirit, in whatever area of life that they need your assistance. Help them change the way they've been looking at the trials and tribulations in their life. Please help them change their perspective. Change how they are looking at the situations they find themselves in. Lord, they want to make the most of this life you have blessed them with. They want to walk in all the blessings Jesus paid for them to have. That means they want to grow stronger spiritually and in their faith. Life's difficulties is a way that they can be sharpened. Rather than be defeated and broken by a challenge, they want to become stronger. Rather than just go through a hardship, they want to grow through it. The person I'm praying for is raising their hand and stepping out in commitment. They are exercising themselves unto godliness until they are so strong spiritually that nothing in life can stop them from fulfilling the tasks you have given them to do. Since they have your help, nothing can stop them. We decree and declare that your love through Christ Jesus is endless and it never leaves nor forsakes them. Absolute certainty of this truth floods their heart. They are fully persuaded and convinced of your love for them. Nothing tears, rips, or separates them from your love. We decree and declare that absolutely nothing can happen in this world or in their life to cut them off from your bountiful love. As a result, peace permeates their heart and mind knowing their Father loves them. Your blessings flood their life and fill them with joy. Every day, they are growing stronger and stronger in the Lord. They are using everything that comes into their life as an opportunity to exercise their faith to build up and develop themselves spiritually. Hallelujah. This is their habit now. This is who they are. This is now part of their spiritual DNA. We thank you that with the help of the Holy Spirit inside of them, they are taking every opportunity, good, bad, and ugly, to become stronger and stronger in Christ. Thank you for all your help and blessings. They receive it all and give you glory. Your power and authority is unmatched. What can come against you even in these turbulent days that we live in? Your grace is sufficient for the person I'm praying for. Regardless of how high and lofty evil tries to present itself, you are always able to reach out to deliver and free those who are bound. To seek and to save, that's who you are. Even in these days, your kingdom is growing and pushing back the darkness. Hallelujah. Please help the person I'm praying for to submit to you and resist the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Help them to set their mind on your miracle-working power that desires to make strategic advances continually for your kingdom. We bind and rebuke any and all plans of the enemy in Jesus' name. There is nothing too hard or too difficult for you. You are always able to save the day. Together in prayer, we ask you to pour your grace into the situation the person I'm praying for is facing. Drench them in your ability to walk in your strength in Jesus' name. Let your light shine through them in these dark days. Drive back the forces of darkness through them. We call them empowered to overcome all the plans of the enemy and to prosper wherever they may go. We lift up their families and call them protected, strengthened, and blessed. We lift up their health to you and call them healed and restored in Jesus' name. We lift up their finances and call them abundantly provided for. Anything and everything that sits on their heart as a need or a want that is right in your sight, we call it provided for in Jesus' name. Lord, continue to guide them as they win spiritual battle after spiritual battle. Please give them all boldness to uncompromisingly stand their ground. Strengthen the person I'm praying for to run the race you have called them to. Despite trials and turmoil, mighty God, the great I am, the enemy is already defeated through Christ. Even when we are weak, you are always strong. Your grace and power is always enough for victory for the person I'm praying for. Hallelujah. The world may be brought to its knees, but never shall you be, Lord. Never. Regardless of what the person I'm praying for is facing, we decree and declare that you will reveal your power and intervene with your grace to bring an answer to their situation. Glory to your name forever. 
we declare that they win the spiritual battles they encounter. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood of Jesus over them and call them protected. Thank you that your angels surround them wherever the sole of their foot may tread. May the light of the gospel that they carry bring light to a dark world. We declare deliverance and victory. Follow them wherever they go. Your protection is unbreachable. There is nothing like your divine success and favor. They can only do what they can do in the natural, but we thank you that they have supernatural access to you. All that they need is theirs through Christ, the Messiah. Your effective spiritual protection is so powerful that no demonic force can defeat it. Holy Spirit, please reveal these spiritual advantages to the person I'm praying for right now even more in Jesus' name. Please show them how they are to take those advantages and use them. We call them empowered right now to walk this out. We call them protected right now. Surround them with your mighty angels. Surround them with your favor. We decree and declare that they accurately discern your supernatural instructions, understand them, and then follow through to walk them out. They have all that they need to win every time, because greater is he who is in them than he who is in the world. Truthfully, words barely do justice to how thankful they are that you are their refuge and their fortress. In you do they trust. We praise and thank you together for blessing them with success. Hallelujah. They are a new creation in Christ Jesus. They are your child and a citizen of heaven. Praise you. They are blessed by you with all spiritual riches in Christ Jesus. As their father, you will protect them and surround them with divine success and favor. We ask you to remind them to share this good news with others. They have freely received, and now they have the responsibility to freely give. They have the Spirit of Christ within them, and that means they have all the power, protection, success, and favor they need to be a witness to the lost around them. We decree and declare that they abide under your shadow. They are divinely protected. They are obedient to your instructions that also keep them safe. What you say, they will do. Wherever you say to go, they will go. Thank you for guiding them through the Holy Spirit. They recognize His direction and follow His guidance in Jesus' name. They can't lose. Your favor opens doors for them. You have gone before them, and they are simply walking into the success that you have set them up for. They are a strong witness of the gospel in Jesus' name. They are bold and any opposition does not hold them back. Praise your name forever and ever, Lord. Confusion can hit us all when dealing with people and life. Sometimes things just don't make sense and uncertainty can try to roll up on us along with fear. Whether it's home life or work life, stress and trouble in all shapes and sizes seem to raise their ugly heads whenever possible. However, praise you, Lord, for we know that you see the tough moment the person I'm praying for is facing in its entirety. Lord, you see the end from the beginning, and most importantly, the way out. We ask you in agreement to give them power and wisdom to fight through this moment in their life and claim the victory through Christ. Regardless of how loud the thunder is or how large the waves, help the person I'm praying for to maneuver the rough seas they may find themselves in right now, in Jesus' name. We rebuke confusion and declare peace. We come against uncertainty and ask you for revelation, Lord. We decree and declare that wisdom, revelation, and understanding abounds in their heart. We decree and declare that they have the mind of Christ. Thank you that by your grace and mercy, the person I'm praying for is experiencing success in this moment of their life. You are walking with them and showing them the path to take. Through your guidance, you are bringing clarity and understanding. They have put their trust in your unfailing love for them. As a result, what once may have been unclear is now clear thanks to you. Thank you that Jesus defeated the enemy. He did what we could not do. He completely beat him. Through Jesus' resurrection, the person I'm praying for can now triumph over all of the enemy's attacks. His power has been broken. 
The devil's weapons have been decommissioned and he's been put under their feet. Through all this, Jesus has set them free and given them power and authority. Jesus Christ is their hero, their champion, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. Thank you that the person I'm praying for is your child and a joint heir in all that Jesus obtained. In agreement, we come against the enemy. We speak confusion into his plans and strategies against them. Greater is he who is in them than he who is in the world. We decree and declare that the devil is defeated through Christ and is under their feet. We decree and declare that they have the power and authority to resist him, and he will flee in Jesus' name every single time. Praise you that no matter what demonic strategy may try and assault them, they never have to give up and go down in defeat. Since they are in Christ, they already have the victory. They can simply shout. They can sing. They can dance before you, Lord. For you promised that they will triumph in Christ. The walls of Jericho came down after they praised you. They will stand their ground in faith and are committed to seeing your will for their life fulfilled. The person I'm praying for continually possesses the supernatural authority necessary to keep the devil under their feet. And under their feet is where he belongs. How can we fear anything when the great I am is our Father? There is none who compares to you. Nothing can come against you. The person I'm praying for never wants to turn their back on you and your word because someone or something is trying to persuade them that you won't protect them. They don't want to give in to the lies that would cause some to be ashamed to be a follower of Jesus Christ. They look to you for courage today. Strengthen them, Lord, and empower them by the mighty Holy Spirit to face this day with boldness in Jesus' name. Whenever they face moments where they need to stand up, help them to remain fixed and resolute in their commitment. Hallelujah. Thank you that they will not back down. They will not run in fear. The righteous are bold as a lion. The person I'm praying for chooses to follow Christ wherever he leads them. We decree and declare that they are rooted in Christ to face the storms of life. Jesus Christ holds the number one spot in their heart. There is nothing more important to them than pleasing you, Lord. We decree and declare that they will hold the line and never, ever back down. Thank you that you are their strength, and because of this, they can stand their ground regardless of the pressure that tries to crash down on them. No weapon formed against them shall ever prosper today. Greater are you who are in them than he who is in the world. Since they are righteous through Jesus, they will never be forsaken, nor will their seed beg for bread. They will see your goodness in the land of the living. Praise you that the person I'm praying for is empowered to be bold as a lion, and their confidence rests entirely in Christ. We lift up our hands and worship you. Thank you so much for never allowing us to go to a higher level in life where our character can't keep us. Sometimes we can get ahead of you before our character has been developed enough to handle it. Character and integrity are so important to you. It is necessary to have both in order to complete what you have called us to do. Lord, the person praying with me right now wants you to help them change. They want to be the person that can handle promotion and increase. They want to be more like Jesus than ever before. They open up and yield their heart to you, their spiritual, mental, and physical physician. Do your work inside of them. Change the person I'm praying for so you can use them as you desire at a new level at their job. We speak favor, wisdom, promotion, and protection for them at work. We decree and declare that today is a new day, and they are on their way to becoming more and more like Jesus. We decree and declare through renewing their mind to your word and spending time praying just like this, growth and increase are abounding in their life. You are able to trust them with more and more blessings through promotion. Hallelujah. 
praise you that as they willingly submit to the transformational work of the Holy Spirit, you are getting them ready for bigger and better things. New doors of opportunity will open for them when they're ready. Thank you that even now, you are changing the character of the person I'm praying for even more into the image of Jesus so that they are able to complete their God-given tasks for your glory. They are walking with a renewed sense of confidence in Christ. What was once a challenge is becoming easier and easier thanks to your anointing. They are overcoming difficult situations and working with difficult people better than ever before. In Christ, they are on the rise. Promotion and increase at their job is underway. We rejoice and glorify you for supernatural results at work. There is nothing like your divine safety. You are their refuge and their defense. You have given them your spiritual armor for life's battles. All the pieces of their spiritual armor work together in unison. They all depend on one another. Holy Spirit, please help them to use every piece of their spiritual armor correctly. Show them how to fight the good fight of faith in every challenging situation. In Jesus' name. Lord, your truth, your word, is the biggest and most important weapon you have given them. The evil plans, strategies, lies, and deceptions of the enemy do not prevail. Every single day, gently remind the person I'm praying for to spend time with you and your word. It is in times of fellowship with you that they grow spiritually. Please grant them revelation about all that Jesus has done for them and let it root in their heart and saturate their situations. Hallelujah. We decree and declare that Jesus, who is the truth, is first place in their life, in Jesus' name. Lord, they wear your armor proudly, protecting it at all costs and ensuring that you have the final say in every encounter they have. We decree and declare that your truth operates effectively in their life and is defeating the enemy and his attacks. They will test all things and hold on only to that which is good, your truth, discarding all else. They spend time in your word and faithfully act on what they learn through the power of the Holy Spirit. Regardless of what the enemy brings against them, they believe and speak your truth over the situation. That is exactly what Jesus did when the enemy came against him. He spoke the word. It is written. No matter how impossible the battle, they believe and walk out the victory in Jesus' name. Christ has the final word. Praise you that regardless of the need, they can look to Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life, and trust him to manifest the victory in their life. Thank you that the person I'm praying for is living a life where the enemy's strategies do not prevail. They are experiencing victory after victory in Christ because they can do all things through him who strengthens them. Father, life is not easy and you didn't promise it would be. There are simply going to be times when we put all of ourselves into things and it doesn't work out. We don't get the sale. We don't get the date. We fail the test. We get told no over and over again. But thank you that Jesus has overcome this world on our behalf. And with him, we can still experience victory. Even in impossible situations, you can miraculously make a way where there is no way. You are a God of supernatural miracles. Lord, we ask you to help the person I'm praying for to remain at peace, despite things not necessarily going their way. When they are overlooked or rejected, help them to remain calm. Even when the storms of life hit them, please help them to hold their ground in love. We ask you in agreement to help them take those challenging moments and with your help, hold their peace and keep their eyes on Jesus. We ask you to help them rise in spiritual maturity and learn how to properly handle the negative that a day may bring. Thank you for empowerment and guidance in these matters. In agreement, we speak confusion into the enemy's plans. We render his plans against them spoiled and fruitless in Jesus' name. We speak turnaround in the life of the person I'm praying for. Breakthrough and deliverance is theirs in Christ. 
we decree and declare that when life tries to pull them towards disappointment, they keep their focus on your faithfulness. We decree and declare that even in the face of harsh opposition, they keep their eyes fixed on Jesus and hold his peace in their heart. Thank you that in the tough moments, you rule their heart, Father. You assist them and show them how to navigate hard times until the divine turnaround occurs. Their hope is in you, Lord. With your help, they remain calm and maneuver the difficult situation in a way that honors and glorifies who they are in Christ. You help them understand the right way and the right time to respond. In these moments, your spirit rules the heart, mind, and emotions of the person I'm praying for, and they remain controlled. They are calmed and quieted in your presence as they wait on their deliverer. As a result, the dark clouds part, the sunshine breaks through, and the turnaround they seek arrives just in time. They desire to serve you with everything they have. They want all that Jesus paid for them to have. We ask you to please open their eyes to see where the fire may have dimmed or gone out in their life. Together in prayer, we come against them losing any passion and desire for you. We rebuke passivity and any drop of being lukewarm in Jesus' name. Strengthen and empower them right now. We ask you to stir up and kindle the fire for you that is already in their heart. Help them to grow the fire and zeal they have for you. Surround them with your supernatural protection. Guard them safely with your angels. May the person I'm praying for keep the fire ablaze for you. May it burn continually and never dim in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that they are strengthened to overcome anything they are facing. Lord, they are stirred up with all their heart and passionately ready to take on any assignment you give them. We decree and declare that their life burns brightly for Jesus and they are more excited about walking with you than at any other time in their life. No weapon formed against them prospers. You divinely shield them from the attacks of the enemy. The power of God is strengthening them even now. The person I'm praying for is a shining example of a genuinely passionate Christian, serving you with a fire that cannot be put out. They are strong in you and the power of your might. How can we ever comprehend what fully happened at Calvary? While we were yet sinners, Jesus died for us on the cross. Sin was taken and removed from the person I'm praying for. The punishment that was to be theirs, Jesus took upon himself. For the joy set before him, Jesus did it. It is finished. What an act of selfless love. Your love knows no limits for the person I'm praying for. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. It is because of Jesus that they are now in relationship with you. All that belongs to them is his, and all that is his belongs to them. That is a great and wonderful exchange. Christ gave the person I'm praying for all that he had. May the revelation of your agape love touch their life in a way they can never deny its authenticity and power. We decree and declare that the person I'm praying for experiences your love more and more each and every day. They are washed in your love. They are soaked in your love. Nothing can separate them from your love. Their sin is forgiven and they can run into your presence anytime they desire because they are a child of God. We decree and declare that they are a new creation in Christ and all that belongs to him is theirs. They are your child and can now share in the inheritance of Jesus because you desired it to be this way. Your plan was always founded upon your agape love for them. Praise you that since they are your child, you also made them an heir. Thank you that through Jesus, the person I'm praying for can now partake of everything that belongs to them because they belong to you. Hallelujah, God of heaven. Day by day, they are growing in awareness of how precious, genuine, and unchanging your love is for them. Nothing can ever separate them from your love. The love of money is the root of all evil. Money is simply a tool. We cannot serve you 
and finances. Therefore, in agreement with the right motive, we ask you for more money to pour into their life. Whether it's more hours at work, sales, a business deal, return on investment, opening a closed door, whatever it is, please bring an inflow of increase. Please meet their every need according to your promises in Jesus' name. They put their trust in you and nothing else. Holy Spirit, please prepare their heart to handle the increase. Please help them set a guard over their heart so that their actions and intentions of their heart are always pure before you. The person I'm praying for trusts that you will provide. You will take care of them. Their eyes are on you and their heart is in your hands. We speak peace over their financial situation. We decree and declare that money is on its way in the right way and at the right time. We decree and declare that the righteous have never been forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. Thank you that with your help, money never overtakes their love for you. All that they have that is good and all that is theirs is yours. As the person I'm praying for is blessed, they will be a blessing. When you get money to them, you can get money through them. Not only will their life be changed, but many more will be reached with the gospel because of the blessings you bring into their life. They want to keep their eyes on you. Regardless of the wind and the waves in life, they look to you. Holy Spirit, please help them to rest in your timing. Help them to lean not on their own understanding in Jesus' name. Show them the way they are to walk and they will follow you. We bind and rebuke unbelief in Jesus' name. We render the attacks of doubt useless and void. The person I'm praying for will be patient and remain in faith, trusting you all along the way. Help them to develop their patience and to more fully understand that timing is everything. We decree and declare that your timing is perfect and they want your will to be done. We decree and declare that you know best and they trust in you. Thank you for being an example of patience. Praise you for being faithful and always bringing things to pass at the right time. The person I'm praying for will stand their ground patiently. Their eyes are on Jesus and that's exactly where they need to be. You are always watching over your word to perform it in their life and you will never let them down. Words cannot express the complete gratitude they have that you have called them your child. Lord, the very fact that you live in them cannot be described. Father, we ask you to please help them to be more God inside minded. Help them continually remember that you live in them and are with them always. As a result, help them to bring you glory and honor with the life they live. Lord, their desire is to please you and live right before you. There would be nothing greater than to know you are pleased with the person I'm praying for. Please grant them favor in Jesus' name. May your favor open doors for them that otherwise would have been shut. Pour out your blessings in their life. Open their eyes to see you moving and ministering to them. We decree and declare that they are deeply aware of your presence living in them. We decree and declare that their body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and they know this well. We believe and receive everything we've prayed and give you glory in advance, for this prayer is answered. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.